welcome to His Life City Church Online. We are the church that loves God, makes disciples, and impacts our world. In just a few moments, you're about to hear the Word of God to our pastor. In case you stumbled upon here, or somebody sent the link to you, we just want to let you know that God loves you, and He has the best plans for your life. It says in 1 John 3, 16, This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down His life for us. Welcome home. ready to hear from God today say I am ready thank you praise God praise God Whew. thank you Jesus okay hinga muna tayo ng malalim hallelujah come on breathe in and breathe out hallelujah para sa akin po yun hallelujah amen if there is one word everybody say one word if there is one word that describes what most of us are feeling these days, ulitin ko yan, no? If there is one word that describes what most of us are feeling these days, it is the word overwhelmed. Everybody say overwhelmed. Hallelujah. Ito yung one word na, you know, that describes most of us today overwhelmed by too much negative news. Yan ang nangyayari sa marami ngayon, no? Sino po yung na-overwhelmed sa ganyan? Overwhelmed, no? Talagang, you know, sa uh, here and there by negative news, overwhelmed by mental stress. May kausap nga po ako, you know, a few days ago, and, you know, he was sharing to me about some people na Talagang dahil sa kanilang pinagdadaanan, napapraning na raw. No? Tingnan mo nga yung katabi mo kung mukhang napapraning na yan ngayon. Hallelujah. You know, talagang overwhelmed by mental stress, overwhelmed by all the uncertainties, overwhelmed by physical pain and separation, overwhelmed by financial needs and pressure, Overwhelmed by the number of people who are going through tough times. Some of them are your friends. Some of them are your family members. If that is you today, come on, just comment. Hello, sa comment section natin, sabihin mo lang, I am Overwhelm, or sabi mo lang, or you comment mo, I feel overwhelmed. Come on, hallelujah! Or you can tell that to your neighbor, I feel overwhelmed. Well, if there is one person that can re relate to us with this feeling, it is King David. You know, when he was overwhelmed with, with danger and uncertainty away from home and family. Ang ginawa niya, when, he, when David was overwhelmed with the danger for his safety and so much uncertainty, he was even away from his family. He cried to the Lord. He prayed and he worshipped. Ito yung tatlong ginawa niya. Umiyak siya kay Lord, nanalangin siya at sumamba siya. Could you please tell your neighbor right now, it's time to cry to the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on. And we say amen to that. You know, ang ginawa niya, no? When he was overwhelmed with his safety and uncertainty, umiyak siya kay Lord. Nanalangin siya. At sumamba siya. Let's listen to his prayer. Psalm 61, verse 1 to 4. David prayed, Hear my cry, O God. Attend to my prayer. From the end of the earth, I will cry to you. Look at this word. When my heart, what's the word? Come on, church. Come on, shout it out. David said, when my heart. So, nakaka-relate po ba sa atin si David? Come on, sabi ni David. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Everybody said amen to that. David said, when my heart was overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And everybody said, Amen to that. Come on, palapakan mo nga si Lord. That is why he said, I will worship, I will trust you, my God. Today, I want to refocus our perspective on this awesome attribute of God. Like David, Isaiah the prophet 
was overwhelmed with grief and sorrow. He was so overwhelmed with discouragement because he just lost a dear friend, a family member, happens to be his cousin, and this cousin of his is actually his king. His name is King Uzziah. Out of this tragedy, out of this discouragement, he had an encounter with God that completely changed the trajectory of his vision. He had an encounter with God. His heart was cleansed. His vision renewed. His passion was restored. What happened? Let's hear from Isaiah himself. Isaiah chapter 6 verses 1 to 8. And let Isaiah tell his own story to us. Sabi niya, in the year that King Uzziah died. Ito po yung encounter niya. When he was so discouraged, overwhelmed with grief and sorrow because his king, his friend, his cousin died. Sabi niya, I saw the Lord. Everybody say, I saw the Lord. Hallelujah. I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Next line. Hallelujah. Above it, look at those words. Above it stood seraphim. Each one had six wings. With two, he covered his face. With two, he covered his feet. And with two, he flew. And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Next line. And the posts of the door were shaken by the voice of him who cried out. And the house was filled with smoke. So I said, Sabini, I say, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. Next line. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hand a live coal, which he had taken with the tongues from the altar. Next line, it says, And he touched my mouth with it and said, Behold, this has touched your lip. Your iniquity, look at this, is taken away and your sin cleansed and purged. Next line. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then Isaiah said, Here am I, Lord. Send me. When he had this encounter with God, his heart was cleansed. Ooh, his vision was renewed. His passion was so refired and restored. Sino gusto makaranas ngayon ng ganong karanasan ni Isaiah? Can I hear an amen to that? Yung, yung maranasan mo, yung cleansing ni Lord, yung, yung vision mo mag-expand, yung passion mo ma-restore. That is what happened to Isaiah. Sabi niya, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne high and lifted up. David said, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Pwede ba natin palakpakan si Lord? Now question, what is this attribute of God? No? This attribute of God that changed Isaiah's perspective on his situation. Ano ba yung attribute ni Lord na ito na nagpabago doon sa pananaw ni Isaiah sa kanyang sitwasyon? What is it about the attribute of God that settled the heart of David in worship and gave him a deeper trust in God, in God's power to deliver? Ano itong attribute ni Lord na nakita nila, naranasan nila? Na nagpabago sa pananaw ni Isaiah. Na nagpakalma. Sa puso ni David. At nagpalalim ng kanyang pagtitiwala sa Diyos. Sino po yung gustong kumalma ang kanilang mga puso? Sino po yung gustong lumalim ang kanilang pagtitiwala? Sino po rito yung gustong magbago yung pananaw sa inyong sitwasyon? Come on, hallelujah. Whew. What is this attribute na kanilang nakita at naranasan? This is our word for today. Be still. Could you please tell your neighbor right now? Be still. Be still and know 
God is transcendent. God is transcendent. Hallelujah. Pumapalakpak si Pastor Jerry kahit uh, anong ibig sabihin niyan. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen, Pastor Jerry? Ipapaliwanag natin. Ayan. Psalm 113 verses 4 to 6. Ay sabi dyan, The Lord is exalted over all the nations. His glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God. The one who sits enthroned on high. Who stoops down to look on the heavens and the earth. And if I can capture what this, this uh, passage is telling us. If I could capture it in a song. The song goes like this. For thou, O Lord. Art high above all the earth, earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. One of my old time favorites. You know, I love you, Lord. That's an old time favorite. Amazing grace. All time favorite. How great thou art. You see, this song is, you know, accurately captures the transcendence of God. That when we find ourselves overwhelmed with crisis, with anxiety and, and worries of life, you know, God through His Spirit can refocus our perspective and, and to see God. High and lifted up. Yan ang sabi ni David. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me, Lord, to the rock that is higher. Everybody say, higher than I. You know, Isaiah said, I saw the Lord high and lifted up. Yun ang nagpabago sa kanilang puso. Yun ang nagpabago sa kanilang pananaw. For thou, O Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all God. Come on. For Thou, O Lord, art high above all the earth. earth. Thou art exalted far above Oh, God. When you are overwhelmed with so much uncertainty and pain, look up to your God because this God that you worship is high and lifted up. Here, the psalmist praises God for His transcendence to see God in His rightful place. Above all nations. Above America, China, Russia, and all the superpower nations. God is above all nations, full of power and authority, above the heavens, independent from His creation. When we say God is transcendent, the key words that we need to understand are the words above. Everybody say above. Beyond. Oh, hallelujah. Higher, greater, distinct. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng transcendent. He is above. He is beyond. Hallelujah. Transcendence is the aspect of God's attribute that recognizes His position above and beyond all that He created. Palapakan mo nga si Lord John. Hallelujah. In other words, this attribute declares God is above us. He is beyond us. He excels us. He surpasses us. He is distinct from us. Come on, give God praise to that. He is like no other. David said, who is like the Lord our God? There is no one like our God. Sabi nga nung awit natin, wala kang katulad. 
Wala nang hihigit sa'yo. Come on, declare that today. Come on. Wala kang katulad, wala nang hihigit sa'yo. Hallelujah. Samahan mo nga ako dito, uh, Elisha. Hallelujah. Praise God. No? Amen. Talagang paborito ni Elisha yan. Hallelujah. Oh. Wala kang katulad, wala nang hihigit sa'yo. He is supreme. He is exalted. And oh, by the way, when we say God is above and beyond, higher and greater, we are not talking about size or distance or even time. Pag sinabi natin, He is high, above, hindi natin pinag-uusapan yung measurement ng time or space or size. Why? Because He is unbound by space and time. He is beyond it. He is infinite, omnipresent, sovereign over all. Everybody said amen to that. Hallelujah. He is all powerful and absolutely in control. Tell your neighbor right now, God is in control. Come on. Hallelujah. Praise God. No one can match His power. Nothing else can interfere with His power. He created all space, time, energy, and matter. Therefore, He is able to control all things as He pleases. And we say amen to that. This is what David and Isaiah experienced when they encountered the transcendent God. Again, no? I hope na ito po ay mag-resonate ng husto sa atin. You know, let, let David's experience and Isaiah's experience resonate to each of us as we face another week of uncertainty. Be like David. When we said, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I, higher than my situation, higher than my worries, higher than my anxiety. Kaba palakpakan mo si Lord John. Hallelujah. Woo! Like Isaiah, filled with sorrow and grief, he saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up. Here's the truth. Could you please tell your neighbor right now? Here's the truth. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Who oh, praise God. Alam nyo, kuminsan ito yung pill na dapat nating talagang uh, inumin yung you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. And everybody said, Amen to that. Come on, palapakan mo si Lord Jan. Hallelujah. Oh, when we say, here's the truth, dinidispel natin lahat ng mga kasinungalingan ng demonyo. Come on, palapakan. Yung deception and the lies of the enemy when you encounter truth, it sets you free. And we say, Amen. Sino gusto maging malaya ngayong, ngayong araw to? Hallelujah. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Hallelujah. Here's the truth. God is not overwhelmed by the things that overwhelm us. Pwede mo bang palakpakan si Lord John? Come on, come on. Come on, take it in right now. Come on, ito yung katotohanan lang. God is not overwhelmed by the things that overwhelm you and me. He is not overwhelmed by crisis. He is not overwhelmed by pressures. Come on, palakpakan mo si Lord John. He is not, he is not overwhelmed by anxiety. He is not overwhelmed by fear. He is not overwhelmed by worries of the worries of life. He is not overwhelmed by confusion. He, God is not overwhelmed by negative news. Come on, palakpakan mo si Lord John. Hallelujah. He is not overwhelmed by earthquakes and storms. He is not overwhelmed by economic crisis. He is not overwhelmed by pandemic and even panda bear. Hallelujah. Parang hindi nyo nag-get yun. Hallelujah. Alat na kilala si Panda Bear, magsabi lang, Amen, Hallelujah. No? God is not overwhelmed by the things that overwhelm us. He is the transcendent God, the rock that is higher than I, high in, lifted up. Give God praise to that. That is why you can fully trust Him because the song says He is unchangeable, unshakable, unstoppable. Hallelujah. Woo! Amen? Woo! Sige, pwede mo ako sabayan dyan. He is talagang, di ba, naalala niyo yung kanta? No, if, if there is one song that captures this message, yung sinasabi dun, Ooh, hallelujah. You are not. <laughs> Ooh, hallelujah. Praise God. Ooh. You are not a God created 
Sabi nung kanta, by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can give by your plan. That's just the way it is. Could you please tell your neighbor right now? It is what it is. Come on, hallelujah. Ulitin natin sa You are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can give by your plans. That's just the way it is. You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, come on, sing it with me. In the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Come on, sing it again. You are God alone. From before time began, you are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Isaiah 40, 21 to 31. Just, just keep on playing. What does it say? God is speaking to you right now. You want God to speak to you? God is speaking to you on a very personal way. And He's saying to you, haven't you heard? Don't you understand? Are you deaf to the words of God? The words He gave before the world began. Are you so ignorant? God sits above, look at that, the circle of the earth. Hallelujah. The people below seem like grasshoppers to Him. He spreads out the heavens like a curtain and make His stand from them. He judges the great people of the world and brings them all to nothing. Hallelujah. They hardly get started, barely taking root when He blows on them and they wither. The wind carries them off the sh like shaft. To whom will you compare me, God says. To whom will you compare me? Who is my equal? Ask the Holy One. Look up into the heavens. Who created all the stars? He brings them out like an army. One after another. Calling it by its name. Because of His great power and incomparable strength. Not a single one Star is missing. Can we give God praise to that? Hallelujah. God speaks to you right now. Oh, Jacob. Come on. Put your name on that. Come on. Oh, Jacob. Come on. Oh, Jerry. Come on. Come on. Put your name on it. Oh, Anthony. Come on. Hallelujah. Oh, Russell. Oh, Jaja. Mas nagraraim kay Jaja. Hallelujah. Oh, Jacob and Jaja. Hallelujah. Oh, Jaja. How can you say the Lord does not see your troubles? Oh, Israel. How can you say God ignores your rights? Have you not? Have you never heard? Have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of His understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Hallelujah. Even young people will become weak and tired and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. Come on, give God praise to that. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Come on, give God praise. And we say amen, church. Hallelujah. Whoo. Whoo. Amen. Whew. Here's the deal. Come on, everybody say, here's the deal. God is transcendent and yet immanent. Let me repeat that. God is transcendent and yet immanent. 
Only in the Bible can we find a picture of God who is both perfectly transcendent and incredibly immanent. Let me repeat that. Sa Bible lang natin makakita that the Bible pictures this God that we worship who is perfectly transcendent and incredibly immanent. In other words, He is infinite and yet intimate. Palakpakan mo nga si Lord dyan. Hallelujah. He is beyond us and yet personally with us. Hallelujah. Woo, gusto ko yan. Never say gusto ko yan. Hallelujah. C.S. Lewis you know, said these words, God is both further from us, distinct from us, and nearer to us than any other being. He is further from us, and yet He is near to us. Could you please tell your neighbor right now, malapit na malapit ang Diyos sa'yo. Come on, hallelujah. Amen. Woo! Yan ang sinasabi sa Psalm 113 na binasa natin kanina. You know, the whole context, let's read that. I, Psalm 113, verse 4 to 9, ano sabi sa atin? For the Lord, look at this, is high above the nations, transcendent. His glory is higher than the heavens. Who can be compared with the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high? He stoops, look at this, the high and lifted up, stoops, humbles himself to look down on heaven and on earth. He lifts the poor from the dust and the needy from the garbage dump. Look at that. He sets them among princes, even the princes of his own people. He gives the childless woman a family, making her a happy mother. Everybody shout, praise the Lord. Lahat po na nagpipray ng baby dito, magsabi ng Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This passage declare that God is above and beyond. High and lifted up. And yet, he cares deeply. He is touched by our weakness. He is moved with compassion. He overflows with goodness and mercy. And everybody said, Amen to that. Woo, hallelujah. Ang just lang ng Bible na ito, ang merong tayong ganyan, hallelujah. Yes, He is transcendent and yet intimate. Close to us, near with us. We see those passages na yon, how God provides for the poor, supplies the needy, cares for the childless woman. Hallelujah. Praise God. Lahat, ulitin natin, lahat ng mga nagpipray ng baby magsabi ng, I believe, Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. This tells us that there is no suffering that he cannot see. Lahat ng pinagdadaanan natin, nakikita ni Lord yan. Lahat ng iyak mo, sinasalo ni Lord yan. Pwede mo bang palakpakan si Lord yan? Hallelujah. He is a God who sees, who cares, who is near, and who is present with us. He is Emmanuel, God with us. He is Jesus, the one who healed the sick, the one who touched the leper, the one who wiped the tears from every mother's eyes. Lahat ng mga nanay dito na talagang binuhos mo na lahat ng luha mo, God wipes away all your tears. His name is Jesus. Come on, give God praise to that. Hallelujah. Woo, rabasya ka. Tapos si Pastor Jerry, you know, nilapitan ako kanina and, and I believe just praying for this Sunday celebration, he, he said something to me that God wants to do today and, and I said, I believe that. I know it's gonna happen. Uh, I believe he, he, he just uh, nagbitaw siya ng prophetic word for us today. God's gonna heal a lot of people today. Lahat po ng mga naniniwala dyan magsabi ng Amen. Hallelujah. Alam ko, meron kang kapamilya, meron kang kaibigan, or even you right now, 
God is about to release His healing power today. Come on, hallelujah. Because He is Jesus. He is Emmanuel. He is God with us. The one who healed the sick, touched the leper, and wiped every tear from every mother's eyes. God's imminence give Him awareness and compassion for our suffering and sin. And yet God's transcendence gives Him the power to heal, to rescue, and to deliver. Palakpakan mo nga si Lord John. Hallelujah. Why? Because He is above and beyond all limitations. Dahil si Lord, He is above and beyond all limitations. Ano ibig sabihin niyan? Hindi mo dapat nililimit ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Palakpakan mo nga si Lord John. Dahil He is above and beyond all limitations, He can reverse all situations. Sino pong gura? Baba? Come on, tanggapin mo lang yan ngayon. Hallelujah. He can reverse your negative situation. Come on, hallelujah. Woo! Why? Because He is above and beyond. Yan ang naranasan ni David. Yan ang naranasan ni Isaiah. God can reverse all situations. He can restore what was lost? Ano man ang nawala sa iyo? God can restore it. He can revive the weak. Give God praise to that. Kaya nga meron tayong promise na declare Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Unto Him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly. Look at this, no? Tinan niyo yung mga transcendent statements here. To Him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. Give God praise to that. Hallelujah. Amen! Here's the good news. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the transcendent King, high and lifted up in humility, stepped down to earth. He came, lived with us, gave His life for us and paid for our sins, rescued us, delivered us, saved us from death. His transcendent nature bore an infinite cost. Our salvation is free, but infinitely costly. And everybody said, Amen. Give God praise to that. King of kings, Lord of lords, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, give God praise. He is King of kings. He is Lord of lords. King above. Hallelujah. High and lifted up. And yet, with humility, He came down. He lived with us. He died for you on the cross to save, rescue, and deliver you. That is the God that we worship. He is high and lifted up. David said, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock. Who is that rock? Come on, who is that rock? Lead me to the rock. There's only one rock. His name is Jesus. The rock that is higher than any situation, than any fear, God is able. And everybody said, Amen. Pwede ba nating palakpakan si Lord John? Hallelujah. Now here's the challenge. Here's the challenge, church. We need a God of power and glory, one whose purpose is far more important than our personal comfort. Let me repeat that. Ito po yung challenge sa atin. We need a God of power and glory, one whose purpose is far more important than our personal comfort. Can you give God praise to that? A deep longing in our spirit for greatness beyond ourselves. To experience God's greatness and grace that transforms our lives. You know, narana, again, no, you know, naranasan ni David, you know, naranasan ni Isaiah, naranasan nila yung greatness ni Lord, pero naranasan nila yung grace ni Lord. 
Sino po yung gusto maranasan ng greatness ni Lord sa buhay nila ngayong araw? Come on. Lord, like Isaiah, like David, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. I want to experience your greatness. And I want to experience your grace too. Gusto ko rin maranasan yung biyaya mo. Like Isaiah, our hearts yearns for something more. More glorious. More higher. More worthy. Yan ang sigaw ng ating mga puso. Lord, I want more. More. More than myself, more than my personal ambition and dreams, more than me, more glorious, more higher, to live grateful every single day of our lives because of what Christ has done for us on the cross. Can you give God praise to that? Come on, church. Hallelujah. Come on, show that on the screen. To live grateful every single day of our lives. Come on, church. Palapakan mo si Lord John. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, everybody shout amen. Everybody stand with me right now. Hallelujah. Come on, this is a challenge. Here's a challenge. Come on, live grateful. Tell your neighbor right now, live grateful. Wag na wag na wag na wag mawawala sa iyo ang pusong mapagpasalamat. Hallelujah. Puso na napakalaki ng utang na loob sa Diyos na sa araw-araw ng ating mga buhay, kahit may pinagdadaanan ka, meron ka pa dahilan na magpasalamat sa Diyos. You have 10,000 reasons to bless God, to praise God in your lives. Give God praise to that. Hallelujah. Live grateful every single day of your life. Live for His glory. Live to honor Him. Live to worship Him. Sabi nga nung kata, to worship Him, I live. Hallelujah. Our God is exceedingly great and intimately personal. Hallelujah. Can you... Did you get that, church? He is exceedingly great and yet He is intimately personal. The transcendence of God and the immanence of God makes our worship glorious, greater, and grateful. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on. Palapakan mo si Lord. Yan. Hallelujah. Oh, sino po ito yung Gusto makaranas ng glory ni Lord ngayong araw na ito. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gusto makaranas ng you know, kalwalatian at kadakilaan ng Diyos. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it all comes with a grateful heart. Bow your heads and close your eyes today, church. Hallelujah. Rabah. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Jesus. David cried out to the Lord. He prayed. He worshiped. And he said, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Hallelujah. Rabba Shakatara Rabahanda Rabba. Isaiah saw the Lord sitting on a throne high and lifted up. Father God, right now, Lord God, baguhin mo ang aming pananaw sa aming mga sitwasyon. Hallelujah. Iangat mo kami, Panginoon. At Panginoon, talagang iwaksi namin, O God, ang pag-aalala. Panginoon, hallelujah. Lahat ng mga negativity. Father God, we focus on you and you alone. And Lars and change our perspective, Father God. Settle our hearts right now, Father God. Lord, maging malalim ang aming pagtitiwala sa iyo sa araw na ito. Father God, right now, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Could you just lift your hands right now, church? Hallelujah. Come on, everybody, just lift your hands and let the Lord just, come on, sabihin mo lang, Lord, I want to have an encounter today. Hallelujah, Rabasha. Come on, those who are long, so who yearns for something greater and glorious. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Father God, right now, release, oh God. Oh, Rabasha, Katarabah. Breakthrough healing right now. Come on, hallelujah, Rabbi. Receive your healing, Lord. Lord, release breakthrough miracles in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, release breakthrough worship. Hallelujah. Lord, release breakthrough provision in Jesus' name. Lord, release breakthrough deliverance in Jesus' name. Lord, release breakthrough restoration in Jesus' name. Lord God, we, we rebuke breakthrough infections, Lord. We release breakthrough healing. Oh God, right now, breakthrough deliverance. 
breakthrough miracle. Come on, receive that right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Breakthrough worship, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Lead us to the rock. Lead us to Jesus who is higher than any situation, oh, than any fear and worry. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, just worship the Lord. Can we just leave our hands and worship Him?
thou, O Lord. healing flow right now breakthrough healing breakthrough healing come on just receive that right now breakthrough worship I say a God is cleansing your heart from all anxiety and worry. He's renewing your vision. He's restoring your passion. He is lifting you up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. All heads are bowed, all eyes are closed. If there are some of us here today, maybe you're here for the first time joining us on our church online. Nothing happens by accident. You are here with us because God sees you. God cares. He wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross so He can give you eternal life. And all it takes is for you to come with a repentant heart and a believing heart. Will you do that today? Would you bow your heads and close your eyes and pray this prayer with me? Sabin mo lang. Dear Lord Jesus, today I acknowledge that I need you. That I need you. I need a savior. I need a savior. Without you, Without you I, am lost. I am lost. Jesus, Jesus I, repent of all my sins, I repent of all my sins. Turn away from sin. Turn away from sin and I turn to you. I turn to you. My savior. My, savior, my, healer, my healer. My deliverer. My deliverer. Forgive me. Forgive Cleanse me, cleanse me, change me, change me and set me free, set today. me free today. I believe in my heart, in my heart that, you came, that you came, you died, you died and you rose again, you rose again to, give me to give me eternal life. Eternal life. That, is why today, that is why today, by faith, by faith I, receive I receive the gift, the gift of eternal life. eternal life. Thank you, Jesus, Thank you, Jesus that, today that today I know I am forgiven, I am redeemed, I am redeemed. Justified. justified. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. From, this From this day forward, I will love you, I will, love you. I will, follow, I will you, follow you, and I will honor I will you. Honor In you. your name I pray. I pray. And we all say amen and amen. Can we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise, church? Hallelujah. If you just pray that prayer with all of your heart, the Bible says, but as many as believe Him and receive Him, to them gave He the power to become a child of God. You have just become a child of God. Can we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise for that church? Hallelujah. The Bible even says, if anyone is in Christ, He is now a new creation. The old life is gone and the new life has begun.
welcome to your new life in Jesus Christ. Welcome home. Welcome to your spiritual family. Give God praise to that church. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, sino po yung, ito yung nakaranas ng healing? Come on. Hallelujah. Oh, nakaranas ng encounter with God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Before I bless you with a prayer, listen to me very carefully. Hallelujah. Everybody say, it's application time. Come on. Hallelujah. Let us apply the word. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to challenge all the believers right now. I want to challenge all the life group leaders. I want to challenge all the life group members today. Like Isaiah, when he saw the Lord high and lifted up, he responded by saying, Here am I, Lord. Send me. Hallelujah. So I want to challenge all believers here today. We have just launched what we call Can I Pray For You movement. Hallelujah. A prayer movement where we want to pray for those who need prayer. Alam niyo po talagang, you know, just this week I have, uh, you know, may mga nakashare po ako na talagang when they started doing this, you know, posting on their social media, Facebook or Instagram, you know, these words, Can I Pray For You? Nagtakayo yung isang life group leader na ang daming tumawag sa kanya na kailangan na kailangan ng pananagin. You will be surprised how a lot of people today they may be your friends, they may be your families or relatives, you know, na kailangan, na kailangan ng panalangin. Because when you pray for them, believe that God will release His power, that God will release the spirit of hope, that God will release faith, that God will release miracles and provision. Palapakan mo nga si Lord John. Hallelujah. Join us. Hallelujah. Join us. Hallelujah. It is on our social media right now. Can I pray for you? Everybody say, can I pray for you? Hallelujah. Could you please practice that to your neighbors? Sabihin mo lang sa katabi mo, can I pray for you? Hallelujah. Ang dami pong nangangailangan ng panalangin sa panahong ito. And I believe magbubuhos ang Diyos ng healing. You know, you know, let's just release that, Pastor Jerry. Hallelujah. Ng miracle and provision, ng breakthrough this week and this coming days. Palakpakan mo nga si Lord John. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Lift your hands. I want to bless you with a prayer. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord makes His face shine upon you. The Lord bless you with the spirit of faith. The Lord bless you with the spirit of hope. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you with restored passion. The Lord bless you with fire from on high. The Lord bless you with answered prayers. The Lord bless you when you pray for people. The Lord bless you with breakthrough provision, breakthrough deliverance. Hallelujah. The Lord bless your family. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we all say, Amen and Amen.